Wednesday, the federal government ended the short-lived Emergency Measures Act. As far as war measures go, this one was over quicker than a call from your mom after she passes it over to your dad. With the nation divided on the freedom protest, Trudeau had this to say. If a political conversation got heated during a recent gathering and a friend or relative left early, pick up the phone. Not to try to convince them, not to argue, but simply to ask how they're doing. Uh, how about no? <laughs> Call a person you hate? I don't like getting phone calls from people I like. The last thing Canadians want to do during this troubled time is to call up racist Uncle Gord to talk Yellowstone. <laughs> I'd say it should be Trudeau who needs to call the people who disagree with him, but then again, it's hard for anyone to make 18 million phone calls. Many came out to object to Trudeau's use of the Emergencies Act, including the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, the Toronto Star editorial board, and every social media account with a flag as the profile picture. The Globe and Mail questioned if the act was needed to deal with something they refer to as Letterkenny Throws a Rave, which is now my favorite show on Crave, just after Jan gets in a street fight. The federal government is also being sued by Alberta, whose lawyer probably looks like this. The lawsuit argues there was no threat to the security of Canada to warrant the act coming into place. That is, if you don't consider guerrilla barbecuing a threat. <laughs> All in all, congratulations to Justin Trudeau. Not for clearing the convoy, but for having another potential scandal that we'll be hearing about for the foreseeable future. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to call one of my enemies. But wait, you're calling me? I'm one of your enemies? You know what you did, Stacey! Never know!